Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. Now, today we are going to be taking a look at the new Maxspec Jump Aquarium Lighting. I have this one pre-built here. It includes the stand. Everything you see here comes in the kit. If you haven't watched the unboxing video where I actually unboxed the light as well as some other Maxspec products, I highly recommend you check out that video first so you know what comes in the kit. And then we can come back to this video and I'm going to show you how I'm going to set it up and install it on my tank. So it is a little bit difficult for you to see this whole thing, but yes, this mount and this LED light right here is included in the box for only $230. Quick rundown of the light itself though, we have six little pucks, so to speak, and then each puck has a couple LEDs in there. We have a large cooling fan in the middle, very sleek MaxSpec logo right here, which does light up, and then obviously the mounting bracket. Now, there's more than what meets the eye with this light. This is a light that directly connects to your Wi-Fi router meaning that this light is 100% controllable from your phone with an app in the App Store. Now, this light does require a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. So if you have like a Comcast Xfinity router, generally how routers are set up is that they have one Wi-Fi network and then as devices connect to it, it will automatically put them distributed between 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. That will not work with this light. So you will have to go into your Wi-Fi settings and you'll have to create two different Wi-Fi networks for your home Wi-Fi network. You'll generally have a 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi network for phones, laptops, stuff like that. And then a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network for smart home devices like doorbells, cameras, and then these aquarium lights will be run on that. So if you're having trouble connecting these to your Wi-Fi, just make sure you have your Wi-Fi set up correctly. Now the app that these are set up with is the MaxSpec Synchro G Cloud app. It's a specific app just for these lights and setup is extremely simple. I'm gonna throw you back to some app footage of me setting up the lights, but simply what I did was plugged in the light, opened up the app, went ahead and clicked plus, then just tapped on the light, went ahead and signed into my Wi-Fi that these lights would be joining, and it completely set up from there. So setup was extremely easy. Once you have your Wi-Fi set up correctly, the lights will join seamlessly. The next thing is you see this mounting bracket right here. This one was actually a custom mounting bracket sent to me by MaxSpec because the ones that are included are a little bit too small for my aquarium. So they went ahead and custom made this one which fits perfect on my tank. So I just thought I should throw that out that this is not what your MaxSpec bracket will look like. It'll be a little bit smaller than this. These are just the ones I had to use on my tank. The actual mounting bracket itself is totally adjustable if you want the light higher above your aquarium, lower, farther back, closer to the middle, anything like that. There's these little screws right here that hold the bracket together. You can simply loosen those up and completely adjust this light. And then once again, those brackets are included with the light. You also have some cable clips right here, which are designed to manage the cable. And then obviously you have your power supply. So I have three of these and I'm gonna go ahead and take off my old current USA lights, which I love so much, but I figure it's time to kind of change it up and then decide what light fixture I like more. I've never used these before, so I do wanna give them a try no matter what, especially because they are app controlled right out of the box, which is awesome. But I'm gonna go ahead and start taking off the current USA lights and get these mounted. Now once these are mounted, all we have to do is screw these down to mount them. If you wanna know how to set up this bracket, go ahead and watch the unboxing video where I set up the bracket and got the light ready. But I'm gonna go ahead and just mount this on my aquarium. I'm gonna mount all three of them, get them plugged in, and then once they're plugged in, I'll show you how I'm gonna kind of set them up through the app. Installation, super easy like I mentioned. Literally stick this on your tank, screw these on and plug the lights in. You don't have to use these with an iPhone app. It just makes it a little bit easier. There are other modes that you can use without Wi-Fi, with Wi-Fi. It's all mentioned in the instruction manual. It would take a long time to go over right now in this video. So if you are interested, you can check out the owner's manual on MaxSpec's website, and it will talk about the different connection methods. So I'll be back once all three of these are mounted on my tank, and then we can start plugging them in and getting them ready to go. So all the lights are mounted, as you can see. However, it is gonna be a little bit difficult cramming all these power supplies back behind my stand. My stand is very cramped. I have a ton of wires back there. This is gonna be the hardest part. I'm gonna cut this part out. All I'm gonna do literally is plug the cords into the wall and plug the other end into the lights, and then I'll pick up the video right where we left off. A few moments later. Okay, so after dealing with that mess, I got all three lights powered on and ready to go. Okay, so right there are the lights and I'll throw the app right up there on the side. So the first thing I'm gonna do, once the lights are powered on, I've already connected them to my Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna open the app right here. As you can see, my devices are all here at the top. Now the first thing I did was I went to device grouping and I created a device group. I just pressed the plus button, named my tank, 
and then went ahead and grouped all the lights together so they can all be controlled at once. Now that all my devices are grouped together, I'm just gonna go click on my reef tank, which is all the lights together, and from here I can go ahead and turn specific color waves on. As you can see, that's ultraviolet. We got blue right here, we got blue and white, we got green, we got yellow, we got red, we can do anything. So you can watch the tank change as I control these. So obviously we don't want our tank red. Okay, so I just went ahead and basically made my own schedule. It's very simple to do and the best way I can explain it is the first thing you wanna do is get your selected time, click the plus button, choose your color temperature and work that all the way down the line. And then at your start time, click plus and turn it down to zero. And at your end time, click plus and turn all colors down to zero. That helped me create my schedule. However, there will be more up-to-date app videos in the future from MaxSpec. So I didn't want to cover too much of the app in this video and make it boring. One eternity later. Okay, so it is now seven days from that last clip. I know it doesn't seem like it. It's been a week since I've got the lights set up on my tank. Now you watched me create the schedule and I've kept that schedule the whole time. Now I'm gonna be talking about my first impressions, basically what I learned on the first day of using these lights. And then I'm gonna give my one week review because I have seen some effects caused by the lights and I do wanna talk about that a little bit. So first let's talk about the actual looks and the design of the light. So for the mounting brackets, for the most part, I was pretty satisfied. They hold the light in a good position above my tank, but I wish they were a little bit cleaner and a little bit less messy looking. I don't like how the cord is kind of bulging out around it and I don't like all the screws that you need to put in. I just find it makes the mounting bracket look a little bit more bulky than it needs to be. Regardless, if looks aren't a problem, it does the job. It's adjustable, which I do like, and it holds the lights perfectly. Next up is the cooling fan. The cooling fans on the lights do not run all the time. However, when they do run, they are extremely silent. So that's awesome. I've noticed I've not heard a single sound from the cooling fans. They're literally dead silent. The third thing I noticed literally on night one was the LED MaxSpec logo. Now the MaxSpec logo does glow orange 24 seven. So even when the lights turn off for like nighttime mode or when your schedule's done, the lights ramp down, that MaxSpec logo still glows bright orange. Now it's cool during the day, it's totally fine, but because this tank is in my bedroom at night, it does cast a very bright orange light because there's so many of them, I have three of them. If you only had one light, it probably wouldn't be an issue. But that is just something to take note of is, is if the tank is in your bedroom, you will get a tiny little bit of light coming from these lights when they're off. So that's obviously not an issue at all if this tank's like in your living room, don't worry about it. But that is something I figure I should mention. Next is performance. So I've had this light for a week and I'm just gonna be going over what I've noticed. The first thing I've noticed is they're pretty powerful. I have my lights running not at 100%. They're pretty low percentage wise, I believe between 60 and 70. And the other channels are even less, like about 20. Regardless, I have noticed a ton of algae growth. Like my glass, I have to scrape it every single day. I used to have to scrape my glass like every week. My rocks covered in algae. Now, the only thing that's changed was the lights. So I am believing that the excess light has caused a little bit more algae. It's not that big of a deal. It just means I need to up maintenance and up my cleanup crew. However, that's not something that happened with my old lights. So I figure I do need to mention that. Other than that though, the corals have responded really good. All my corals are open and super happy. As you can see, they're all doing good. They're super receptive to the new light. And one of my mushrooms, which is actually not doing so well, um, I believe is coming back because it's been getting a little bit more direct light that it didn't used to get. And it does look to be doing a little bit better. So overall, the corals seem to really like the light. Um, my anemones are all open and happy. My elegance coral is happy. My frog spawn's doing pretty good. And the soft corals are doing good as well. So other than an increase in algae growth, I have not seen any negative effects from the light. So overall, I'm very satisfied with the light and the app, by the way, is great as well. I really like the app once you get used to it and once you kind of mess around and play with it for a little bit, it's very intuitive. Now on MaxSpec's Facebook page, they do have a whole list of YouTube videos that show you how to better use the app a program the app shows you how to use the cool like acclimation modes that the light has or the lunar cycle because this light can mimic a lunar cycle for a nighttime mode. It's pretty cool. So the app is great. The Wi-Fi connectability is great. And for only $230, this light's pretty good. I mean, it grows corals just fine, totally adjustable and the app control. Honestly, for $230, you could get one light for like a 24 by 24 by 24 inch cube tank. And that'd be a great light for only $230. So for the price, honestly, it's pretty good. 
But that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Overall, out of 10 stars, I give this light a solid 8.5. Just because I wish I had a little bit of a cleaner mounting bracket and less wires and cables that kind of hook the light up. Other than that, I'm super satisfied. So thank you guys so much for watching and good. Bye.